to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am bringing you part 12 of my Would I or Wouldn't I series I do here monthly on my channel. I got this idea from Angelica Liramar, who is one of my favorite creators here on this platform. Of course, I'll have her channel linked in my description box. If you guys have not yet gone to subscribe to her channel, I highly encourage you to do so. She is beautiful. She is talented. She is so much fun to watch. And she has given me a lot of very fun video ideas since I first started my channel. So basically what I do is I grab 10 palettes at random out of my collection, make a little stack out of them, and then I'm going to show them to you and discuss why or why not I would or would not repurchase these palettes. Now, a lot of these palettes in this stack today were gifted to me, so it's always kind of weird for me to determine, like, I didn't purchase them to begin with, but let's just make believe that I did purchase them to begin with. So let's start off with the first palette here. This is the Sample Beauty Blooming Lovely palette and Pia, Makeup by Pia W. I will link her channel in my description box. She sent this to me and I have filmed with this before and I love how diverse this color story is. There's so many beautiful shades in here and it's more matte heavy. There's more mattes in here than shimmers. There's only one, two, three, four, five shimmers here and the rest are all mattes, I believe. Yeah, I think I counted that correctly. Now, I will say that I have a couple other Sample Beauty palettes in my collection that I, I think, and one of them's actually in this uh, go around, that I think I do like a little bit more than this palette. However, I've only used, I think, what, four shades, maybe five shades out of this palette. So that's, that's not very fair. I, I need to use all the shades in the palette before I can really give you like the full scope of how I feel about this palette. I think the color story is absolutely gorgeous. And this is a UK indie brand that I am a huge fan of. Now, in terms of what I purchase or not, oh, that's tough. I, I kind of can't, I don't know that I can really give you an answer because I haven't used all the shades in here. So for now, uh, just based on color story alone, I will say that yes, I would repurchase this. But once I use all the shades in here, then maybe I'll have a different answer, or I might not, you never know. The second palette is the Saharan 2 palette from Juvia's Place. Now, I love this brand, I have a ton of their palettes, and although I do like this color story, I don't know that I love this color story. This palette I have not used in a very long time. This is one that I just don't really reach for. And I haven't ever really done a lot of reaching for this since I got it. I think it's beautiful. I think what kind of stumps me here are these two shades right there. And I, I know that they, I mean, they go well with everything in here, but I, I don't know. And I, I guess for like a unique pop of color, these two shades are gorgeous. Uh, I love the formula of all of the Juvia's Place palettes that I own, this one included, I really do. But I don't know, this has just been sitting on my shelf for quite a long time. And I don't know that this will survive my uh, eyeshadow palette collection and declutter video that I'm planning on doing in January. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I love it. I do love it. But I honestly, I, I don't know that I would repurchase this just because it just doesn't, it's not getting enough use in my collection. Then we have the Go and Coconuts palette from ColourPop. And I really enjoy playing with this because it's just such a nice neutral color story. You know, this is a very easy palette to put a look together with very easy. There's not a lot of guesswork. All the shades go together really well. Uh, the quality of this palette is really nice. This is another one I haven't used in a while, but I will hold on to this pr probably forever. I mean, unless it falls apart because of the fact that it's just so easy to put a look together with. And uh, I, I think it's a really good quality color pop palette. Would I repurchase? Yes, I would repurchase this. I really, I really do enjoy this palette. Then we have the Mink Set Aton Dew palette from Viseart. And Steph, not your basic Steph, a best friend and my sister, she gifted this to me. And we did do a collab video with, uh, I used this palette and she used a different Viseart palette because it was the first time either one of us had ever tried this brand. And I think this is a lovely color story. Very pretty, neutral, but just, you know, really pretty coppery and terracottas and browns. Uh, I will say, however, that I like the mattes better than the shimmers uh, when I use this palette. I don't know, I, I had a lot of really high expectations for this palette. And while it is a very nice palette, uh, it, it wasn't like mind blowing either. It really wasn't mind blowing. But it is a really pretty color story. And I, I was, I, I was, I, the look that I, <laughs> the look that I created was fine. It was very nice. And I definitely wanna use this again. I haven't used it since we filmed with it. Uh, would I repurchase? Yeah, I think I would repurchase this. I mean, you know, it is a nice palette. 
And I, I do like having a fancier palette in my collection, I will admit to that. <laughs> then we have the Castle of Horror palette from Ladybug Glow. And I've used this, I think, three times in total on my channel. I did a two looks video and then Steph and I did a collab using this. And man, isn't that pretty. I love this color story so much. I love all the Ladybug Glow palettes I have in my collection, all the color stories. This one's in my top probably three color stories I would say that I have from Ladybug Glow, although that's really hard. I actually have uh, eyeshadows on my lids today from another Ladybug Glow palette. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is because the video will be coming soon. But this shade right here called Castle of Horror is my favorite shade out of this palette. It's so beautiful. This shade, the silver shade, is just stunning. Uh, these two shimmers, the mattes, everything works in here so well. The mattes are blendable, they're pigmented, the shimmers are jaw-dropping. I would absolutely repurchase this palette, and spoiler alert, I would absolutely repurchase all of the Ladybug Glow palettes I have. And then we have the Nabla Soul Blooming palette, and Steph gifted this to me. I love the packaging, and such a pretty color story. Just a pretty, really pretty, elegant, classy color story. And I really enjoy the shimmers in here. Uh, this shade, this shade, and this shade are, I would say, well, this one especially, are more duochrome. They've got some really pretty subtle, soft shifts to them. This is a beautiful satiny shimmer shade. The mattes work really well. Uh, I think, is this, no, this is not the first Nabla palette I tried. It's the second palette. I think I only have two palettes from Nabla in my collection. But really impressed with how this palette performs. Uh, this is another one I need to pull out and use soon. I think this is a perfect color story for like spring or summer or fall or winter. I don't really, but to me, it says more spring, I would say. And I would totally repurchase this. If this hadn't been gifted to me and I did purchase it, I would totally repurchase it. Then we have the Ethereal Palette from Gourmand Girls. And this is an all shimmer palette. Uh, one of my absolute favorite all shimmer palettes that I own. It's just stunning. All of these shades in here, well, not maybe not all of them, but the majority of them are very uh, duochrome, multi-chrome shades, and we have a lot like metallic uh, texture or look to them as well. Uh, I, I was not a real fan of having like all shimmer and all matte palettes. I, ha I had a couple and I was like, mm. but then once I really started playing with them, I'm like, this is really fun because then, you know, you can use more than one palette together or you can just do an all shimmer look and use this by itself. Whatever you want to do, go for it. It's your face, it's your makeup, do what you want. But I really do like pulling in an all matte palette with this and, and playing with it. I have created some really, I think, beautiful looks with this. And this is another one of those weird things I have where I want to put this in a vault and never use it because I want to save it forever. But <laughs> stupid. And I'm going to continue to use this. Actually, I might do another like, well, I think I would I do two looks or three looks video with this palette. I might do that again. You know, I might do it again. Oh, would I repurchase this? Yes, absolutely. Then I have the Rasha B Cosmetics Gold Digger Palette that my dear friend Julie sent to me. I did a, did I do a one look or two looks video with this? Why does my brain not hold on to anything anymore? I was really impressed with how this palette performed, the shimmers especially. There are so many beautiful shimmer shades and like this shade right here, very flippy. It's like uh, purple and green. This shade too down here is flippy. And then we've got some really pretty metallicness to it. I like how buttery and thick the shimmers are in here. They're so nice to apply. And I do think the mattes are really nice too. V very pretty color story, you know, very pretty color combination in here. And uh, I would repurchase this, absolutely. I really had a lot of fun with this palette. I also have another palette from Sample Beauty. This is the Rain palette. Now, when I picked this up off their website, the picture of it looked more like burgundies and greens, and there really isn't greens and burgundies in this. It's more like golds and terracottas and like a brownish red. That's not really burgundy. But I will say I was very happy with how this palette performed. The shimmers are so thick and buttery and rich and apply so easily and they stay put. And the mattes are very pigmented and blendable. And this is just a fun little neutral palette, you know, neutral color story here, but excellent quality. Highly recommend you guys checking out Sample Beauty if you haven't yet. Really enjoy. I have three palettes in total, including uh, Blooming Lovely. And uh, yeah, I really like this brand. I'd like to get more. And uh, yes, absolutely. To have a really nice quality neutral palette in my collection, this would definitely be repurchased. Then I have the Cara Beauty Metamorphosis palette. And my daughter's best friend, she gifted this to me. I couldn't believe it. I had gotten home from doing something and she was just pulling out of my driveway. And she's like, bye. And I'm like, oh, bye. And she had left this for me. And I have filmed with this before. And I love Cara Beauty, one of my favorite brands. I haven't used their palettes from this brand for quite a while, but 
I, I do have several in my collection and very impressed with how everything performs. I will say that the couple, a couple of the mats, I think I used these two right here, right? Or these two, they were a little dusty, a little, little dusty, but the shimmers I used, which ones did I, this one here, which was gorgeous. And I think that one, is that right? So that's what it looks like. There's a little, oh no, this one too. The shimmers were really pretty. I did a more subtle look. I think I used this for one of Leanna Dalton's Beauty and the Soul challenges, right? I'm pretty sure. And uh, I, there's so many other shades in here I still need to use. Uh, would I repurchase this? Again, I just haven't used enough of the shadows to really give you like a real solid answer, but I was, I was very happy with the look that I created. So yeah, I, I think I would repurchase this. Plus the fact I love the brand. Then we have the Always Be a Sunflower in a Field of Pricks uh, palette from X and O Cosmetics, which is another US indie brand that I really enjoy. Field is spelled wrong, which used to bug me. If my mom saw this palette, she'd lose her mind because she was a teacher and you don't misspell words ever. And this is such a fun palette because it's magnetized. You just take the lid off and then there you go. Beautiful color story, really nice formula of the mattes and the shimmers. The shimmers I would say are more satiny, uh, but just a beautiful palette and so fun. It's shaped like a sunflower, you know, unique, very cool. And this was gifted to me from a dear friend of mine for my birthday. And uh, I have used this before on my channel. I can't even remember what I did with it, but I, oh, it was, uh, I had to recreate, I think it was a collab with Alice and I was recreating uh, the colors on a beach towel. And it was really fun, really, really fun. I can't believe I can remember that. I, I'm gonna give myself a cookie for that because I don't remember anything ever. Yeah, I would totally repurchase this. This is a brand that I'd love to get all of their palettes from. They have some really cool color stories, really cool packaging. And look how fun that is. I love it. And then palette number 10, this is the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Orange Sorbet palette. And I have all of these except for the waffle cone one. I found a bunch of them at Marshall's. Love this color story. Love the fieriness of it. The quality of the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes is their best quality formula, I would say, out of any palette they've ever created. I mean, they have some other really good ones too, but this formula is my fave. And I love the shimmers and the mattes, you know, just everything. I was so happy when I walked into Marshall's and these were all sitting there. <laughs> Score! I think it was like $6.99, $7.99 for each palette. So yeah, I would totally repurchase this. Absolutely, I love having this in my collection. So those were the 10 palettes I pulled at random today out of my collection to give you part 12 of my Would I or Wouldn't I series here this month. Let me know if you have any of these palettes, what you think of them, if you would or would not repurchase them and why or why not. This is so much fun, I love to do this. And it's giving me a really good idea of what I think I'll probably declutter when I do my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter videos in January. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. Love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will see you soon. Bye. Drop it.